going on everybody? James Largo, The Cichlid Shack, thecichlidshack.com. Uh, we are here at 7.30 at night finishing up water changes and our weekly maintenance and vacuuming and such. Uh, figured we'd do an inventory update video. It's been a little while uh, since we've done one. Uh, sorry about that, been busy. Just finished the water changes on these uh, two front tanks. As you can see, everybody's doing well. Uh, just fed them, so I don't know why they uh, still act like they're hungry because they're African cichlids. That's what they do. All right, on to the good stuff. Uh, I went fishing in the tubs yesterday. Um, pulled out a couple of really nice uh, three and a half to four inch clown ruby reds. Uh, you can see these guys are uh, very, very colored up and looking very, very nice. Uh, I have added them to the website. Um, they don't want to turn sideways, but hopefully you guys can see how red those really are. Moving on to the goodies you guys would like to see. Uh, guard flame tails, males, females. Uh, you guys know the drills. German reds, uh, males and females, and they're just about every one of the three and a half uh, to four inch females are holding. Um, I do not pull from these groups, I pull from my breeding groups, so um, if you order the females, you will get these holding ones. Red top Lawandas in varying sizes, uh, anywhere from three inch plus up to four and a half. Uh, there is some females in here as well. Bicolors, both males and females. Really nice bicolors. Dragon bloods, multiple sizes, colors. Good size blue dragon bloods, four inch plus. Very, very nice. I just fed everybody before I did this video, so um, they're busy chomping on food. Uh, Flavescence, multiple sizes, uh, females as well. Nice black dorsal flavescence. Uh, my blue sunsets. I'll uh, have a few very nice sunshines remaining and a couple of females. Uh, up here, I sent out most of the big Ethelwanies, but there is a, a few males in this tank left, mostly females. Uh, sending uh, most of these females to um, California, I think, uh, next week. Over here are some blue neons, multiple sizes, females, some really nice males. Oh, down here, Kobus, again varying sizes, um, all the way up to five inch plus and have some females as those have a few of the very nice midnight who series remaining uh, a few very nice big ob males and some nice good size ob females very nice males Some more stuff from the grow out tubs, uh, more otter points, uh, varying sizes. Uh, I have some females, but they're um, smaller. Uh, 
Um, only females left on the uh, Cornelii Blue Golds right now. All the males were sold. Uh, do have four females, four or five. Very nice hands, Beshi red shoulders, males and females. Uh, down here, albino sunshines. Uh, I think there's a couple of males left, but mostly females. Like there's a male right there, um, but mostly females. So if somebody'd like a breeding group, uh, there's lots of these holding as well. Uh, lemon jakes, males and females. We have uh, lemon jakes in varying sizes. Again, the three inch ones, three and a half, uh, the four inch plus ones. But you can see there's some three inches that are showing some uh, decent color already uh, for being in here with these bigger guys. And females, holding females as well. Um, pulled some more flames out of the grow out tubs. Looking very, very nice. This is another one of my uh, in house projects I've been working on for about three or four years. Ever popular Red Suns. Lots and lots of nice red sun males. I have a blue orchid male left that doesn't want to be on camera, so he's running. Lots of nice malaria chidunga rocks. Oh, up here we have the red collar peacocks. Uh, males and females. These guys are really good size, five inch plus. Uh, Eureka Reds O Plenty pulled some more of these from the grow out tubs as well. Um, lots of nice red Eureka Reds in varying sizes. Um, some of the smaller ones even got some really good color. And then the bigger ones, of course, have awesome color. Albino strawberries. Very, very nice. Four inch plus. Albino strawberries. Uh, the breeding groups, uh, 144s. Uh, my super reds. Again, you can see they're doing their thing, breeding like crazy. He's in there with another batch. Uh, chomping on some algae wafers. Uh, those big Kawingis are all gone, trying to get some more. Uh, living stone eyes, four inch plus. Some really nice males firing up in here. Uh, the F1 Spilinotus Tanzanias. These guys never let me catch them on camera. Uh, very nice though. F1 compressor set Malawi eye biters. Uh, varying sizes from three and a half inch all the way up to these big monster five and a half to six inch males. Uh, have some four inch plus females as well. Protomelis hertes, uh, four and a half to five inch, and I have one really nice big uh, six inch plus one. Um, this guy doesn't go soon, he might end up in that front show tank. Uh, very nice Venustus, a very nice fired up male there. Wish he would turn. Oh, there he goes. Really nice fins fired up. Looking nice. Have a few of the um, Jolla Reefs remaining. Uh, four and a half to five inch, good size. Have plenty of the uh, Mylochromus and Um Big. 
Uh, I have a couple females also if anybody would like to um, breed them. Kind of a dark spot so I hope the color's coming through. I get that nice rainbow color. Lethernot Mubazi, uh, three inch plus males, uh, very nice, crazy egg spots, three inch plus uh, tetrastigmas, auto pharynx tetrastigmas, um, there's a really a couple of nice fired up males for their size. And here are the wild caught polystigmas and the wild caught Lenny Lanai pair. Uh, the male starting to get some decent color on the Lanai. Here's a male polystigma. Another male. Down here are um, a couple of those great big monster Borley eyes remaining. Uh, six inch plus easy. Again, they got the lids on them because they like to fight. Um, very nice five and a half to six inch red empress. Turn this on so you guys can see this crazy nut job. Uh, he's really fired up, uh, coloring up very, very nicely. Still no breeding action, but um, hopefully soon. Like I said, I just fed them and they got water uh, gravel back today, so. Um, They've had me bugging them all day. But he's looking very, very nice. Crazy fins. Females are nice and fat and plump. This is a wild caught acuticeps, my Malawi Gar breeding group. Um, all the big Z Rocks are gone. Uh, I pulled a couple of three and a half to four inch uh, males out, and I do have some really good size the females are actually bigger than the males at this point um, trying to bring in some more of those nice five inch xerox uh, bazulus kind of puzzled why these haven't gone because they're really cool uh, fish you don't see all the time so not everybody's going to have these in their tanks nice white blaze blue coloration great fins both males and females, holding females. Uh, tangerine tigers, big five and a half to six inch males. And there's a couple of five inch males that uh, these guys are keeping from coloring up. And obvious females, I don't know if you guys can pick those up. Um, a female spit some fry in the tank and they haven't gotten eaten. Uh, they're just kind of chilling down there. So I threw some food back there for them to eat too. They don't seem to be bothering them. Um, very, very nice tigers and obvious breeding going on. Um, down here are OB Red Empress. These are those ones that I've been growing out for quite some time. They're now in the three and a half to four inch range and starting to color up. Um, this is actually an OB Red Empress that uh, was bred in house. He just uh, has a dormant OB gene, and that's one of my super reds uh, that I pulled out of the tub. It's not showing much color right now. Uh, really loving this guy, Frankie Kenneth, if you're watching. Um, this is one of those wild cotton chews like I sent you. Um, it was a smaller guy that I've been growing out. He's going up front in the show tank. And this is one of the wild caught Mylochromus molas that were remaining. Um, it was sold and I had it in quarantine with some other fish to go out for shipping. And he got his rear end handed to them. Um, he's been healed up now and looking better. Uh, this guy's obviously keeping him from coloring up, but you can see some blue coming in his face. Uh, Marginatus red fins, really good size and color. Um, again, I just fed them, so they're chomping on some food. Um, really, I mean, some of these are over five inches. Really nice color. Have a few um, ivory head melotos. 
really liking this four inch guy back here crazy blaze there is some nice five inchers as well uh, aristochromus christi eyes malawi hawks um, most of the males are five inch there's five females in here that are about four and a half as well um, there is four wild caught uh, Niger Venters remaining. Uh, very hard to sex and they haven't shown much signs of coloration. Um, so I have taken them down off the site as I don't want to send out females. Um, I do have a nice wild caught male in my front tank so this may become a breeding group if these last four uh, are female. <clears throat> down here uh, here is my wild caught trout I've been growing out for the front shell tank and I do have one monster Malawi trout and I do say monster this guy's over five inches this guy um, probably six and a half to seven or more uh, he's showing really good color already. Don't have him listed on the website yet. Anybody's interested, jlargo20, gmail.com. Uh, wild caught Rhodesii leptura yellow. This is the male I have been holding on to, growing it out for my front tank. Um, there is three others. Um, they're not quite as big yet. Um, there's probably, they're pr I tried venting them, they're very hard right now. Uh, so those aren't listed either, because um, I can't guarantee if they're male right now. What I can guarantee are males are these F1 Buchochromus notitanius. Um, yeah, I really don't need to say much else. This guy. Goodness. Oh yeah, oh there's another one. Oh wait, oh, oh another one. Buchochromus notitanias F1s. Doesn't get much better than that, folks. Or that, or that, or that, or that. Have a few uh, F1 Buchochromus spectabilis, five and a half inch or so. Here's one showing some nice color in his head. Oh, I'm moving on. Uh, four inch red cap Lethronops. Uh, there's a really nice fired up male right there. Uh, all the deep waters are gone. I have three females remaining, trying to get some more males in. Uh, albino Taiwan reefs, some nice four inch plus males, and these guys are growing. They're over three inches easy, and there's obvious males showing in those as well. But there's a really nice four inch plus male there. Uh, a few wild caught uh, Protomelis fire blue lupingus, the wild caught melon tross pair. The male is really fired up again, and the intermediate cambiri starting to show some good color. Uh, in here are a couple of the big bleaker eyes remaining, but both of these are spoken for. Uh, again, trying to get more of those this week. Um, ivory head, or no, fire line Melotos, excuse me. Uh, these guys are growing as well. Have males and females. Anywhere from three inch to almost four inch, a couple of them. and the thread finicaras a uh, bunch of goodies out of the grow out tubs 
Uh, Lemon Jakes, Apaches, Albino Dragon Bloods, Albino Eurekas, Swallowtails, Eureka Reds, Otter Points, um, a few of those um, Taiwan Tetra Stigma hybrids I've been um, breeding and growing out, a couple of Flavescents, lots of goodies. 5 inch plus fossil chromus rostratus males. I have a few of the F1 rotisize remaining, your snail eaters. Showing really good color for about 3.5 to 4 inches. Uh, the $20 male tank and the F1 Synodonis multivancatus. Really nice males in here, Lawanda, Dragon Bloods, some goodies. Down here, three and a half to four inch Fina Chalice Tanzania Star Sapphires. Uh, got a few of the big Indiwe Fire Haps. Glare from the light, but hopefully you can see those. My wild caught Mylochromus Lattestrig along those breeding group, and they are breeding quite well for me. Lots of F1 fry, chomping on some food. Um, up here, uh, the smaller two and a half to three inch unsexed are F1. Stevens Eye Imperial Blue Golds. The bigger four and a half to five inch males are wild caught Stevens Eye Imperial Blue Golds. Have a few of the five and a half to six inch Mar rocks remaining. Uh, these guys are eating like pigs, and there's only four of them in here, so they're growing now. Um, pulled some more Taiwan reefs from the grow out tubs. We have anywhere from three and a half inch males up to five inch plus males, and we also have females. Very, very nice Taiwan reefs. Nimbachromus fuscos. Three and a half to four inch, and yes, we can pick out males. Uh, the rainbow and ram tank, very nice golden rams and German rams. Uh, the electric blue rams have sold out, and then the albino millennium, albino orange millennium. There's a pair right there. And the Millennium Rainbows. And then the Synodonis and Helicus Eruptus uh, cats. Really cool cat. Oh, down here, Autophernix Spot Sonnies. Three and a half, four inch. Very nice males. Up here, big, beautiful five and a half to six inch Ovatus. Fundamental near eyes, three and a half to four inch. And Macoby Island, Nairi eyes. Uh, hippo point salmons that are really colored up and nice. Really red sides. Have a few um, Mbenji Regals, 5 inch plus, and a female remaining. And here is those much more fired up, colored up Ethelwanies. From three and a half inch to, uh, there's a nice five incher tucked away over there. There he is. Beautiful Ethelwanies. The 
this guy. Wowzer. Um, this back row might be kind of hard to see. Um, let's see what we can do. I turned out this light above these tanks because it was just uh, causing me all sorts of havoc with the algae. Uh, Triple S has been busy. Got a whole bunch of um, males from Triple S, a whole batch of Anustis, uh, assorted males. Um, got some fish in from Mr. Adam C. Uh, these are Mylochromus uh, Spilostitious. Macola reefs. Uh, I have two tanks of these. Uh, here's the other one. Uh, he was saying he was shipping them to somebody. Now you guys know where they're at. Uh, these are going into grow out tubs very shortly. I have put um, the F1 Buco Leptura yellow, the Rhodesii yellows he sent me. They are in a grow out tub already. Um, down here, it's going to be kind of hard to see, but um, discus. We have some discus in. These are uh, locally bred. Blue snakeskin, I believe, is what they're called. Um, they're about two and a half, three inches. Uh, during the daytime, when I have the door open, the sun. Uh, really, really nice. The wild caught compressor set uh, Malawi eye biter group. There is the dominant breeder male in all his glory. Uh, I have found a breeder in Triple S. These will be going out to him next week. Uh, these are breeding, have been for a little while. Uh, more Triple S action. Malawi hawks, Fireline Melotos. Uh, also in here are some of those F1 um, compressor set Malawi eye biter fry. Uh, so we have hawks, F1 notos, fire lines, and F1 eye biters uh, growing out in this 75. Down here, a few of the red dragon flower horns remaining. I wish you would turn sideways. Really, really nice. Uh, put these on sale on the website. Uh, blue dolphins, anywhere from three and a half inch to I believe there's a couple of five and a half to six inches, like this big dude. Uh, Skittles and some dragon blood. Um, grow outs. Um, another batch from Mr. Adam C. These are his F1 Talia Lethernop Fricata Yellows. Uh, another one going into the tubs. And I'll probably put these F1 Prior Vitalis in with those. Here is my Star Sapphire breeding groups. Look at those males. some of their offspring. Alrighty folks, grow out tubs, have got lots of goodies in them. Um, have a lot of predators coming up here soon, including some F1, some more F1 Buchachromus notitanius. Don't know if you can see that, but I can. Got some really nice four inch plus fired up males in there. Alrighty folks, that's it for this inventory walkthrough. Uh, been here uh, 12, 14 hours. Uh, gonna turn the water change system on, let it fill up what I drain vacuuming, and I'm out of here. You guys have a wonderful and safe weekend. And as always, remember these are just stupid fish videos, folks. God bless.